Hello. My name is Teresita Lopez Pulido, and I am an intuitive energy healer and a spiritual teacher. And I'm here today to talk about self love and how the lack of self love is blocking us from receiving abundance in our life. And this is something that you're probably experiencing right now. And you might be trying to manifest something that you want, something that you really like, or you want to change your life, or you want to bring something else into your life, your business, anything. But uh, you find it difficult to uh, manifest it, difficult to come into reality from your dreams, your imagination, whatever way you wish to do it, um, you find it difficult to bring it. So I have experienced this, and uh, at times I, I think, uh, yes, I've uh, the ways that I have blocked my manifestations and way of um, not bringing whatever I desire into reality. And I realized after so many years that it was the lack of love, lack of self-love. And this was preventing me from manifesting my dreams. And also um, the lack of clarity that I didn't know exactly what I wanted, what uh, I wanted to desire or bring. Once I have a clear picture of what I wanted and I start to manifest, but then along with the manifestation of my dreams, I, was, I started to practice something else and that was um, self-love. What I mean by self-love is blocking us from uh, manifesting. That is um, self-criticism. We criticize ourselves. We have very heavy thoughts or very negative thoughts about ourselves, or not necessarily thinking, but you say out loud sometimes during conversations with your friends, with your family. And the ways that you criticize yourself without realizing is I'm not good enough, or I am stupid, or I don't deserve love, or I am useless at so and so, or I am rubbish at. I heard this quite a lot between friends and sometimes at work or somewhere else. Oh, sorry, I can't help you. I'm rubbish at words or I'm rubbish, rubbish at doing this or I'm useless with computers. So we have to start changing the way we talk about ourselves, the way we um, express our, uh, our, about ourselves. Uh, this is a way of you um, belittling yourself, actually, on your abilities because we are very intelligent people, all of us. Another thing is to perf be perfectionist. We try to make things so perfect. I'm guilty as charged, I know, and I've tried. Oh, I'm sorry. I let I I learned to let it go um, of the perfectionism. Um, it has to be absolutely perfect. Then I won't do it, or it takes time for me to do stuff until it gets perfect. Therefore, I don't take any actions, and it it never happened. So, and then you're missing out on stuff because you are waiting for that perfection to come. And that's a very way of stopping your abundance. Another thing is your negative thoughts, uh, or uh, sorry, your negative emotions and feelings. Resentment, anger, guilt, um, feeling guilty for past mistakes. That's one of the things. Could be financial mistakes, could be about love mistakes and things like that. That's stopping us from, from bringing abundance, from receiving and doing self-love. So we have to start practicing uh, forgiveness, practice forgiveness and move on from the past. We, we um, hold on too much to that past um, and of, oh, I did this, I made this mistake, I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have said that, or I should have go somewhere. Just first of all, get rid of the word I should have because it's giving you a lot of pressure and um, you're still there in the past. So move on, move the page and start to be kind and loving towards yourself. Um, another thing is uh, not being able to receive Yes, and when I say not being able to receive, it comes also receiving love or anything else. Um, when um, we've been hurt a lot, probably from a um, very young age, or our heart, our past hurts are blocking us, uh, close our heart, and we're not able to receive, not able to receive love, we're not able because we fear of being hurt once again or being taken advantage of um, once again and that's very painful to live 
So um, I think um, heal that heart, start um, loving yourself and be kind to you, be open to that, bring down the wall that you put in your heart and, um, and start receiving love. Another way that we don't know how to receive is because of very young age, we always heard from our parents, family, the church, some other places, school or, or um, close uh, friends and family saying, it is a sin, it is wrong to receive, you're taking from other people, it's shameful and sinful to receive from other people. And actually, um, what is happening is that all of those beliefs that have been transferring to to us are blocking us from, from receiving. And only thing that we learn and we gain is the virtue of giving, but not the virtue of receiving, right? So what we learn in our life, and we do this a lot, is that we are helpful, are kind and loving towards other people but not towards ourselves. So it's time for you to start practicing not only to be helpful with others and kind to others, but also to yourself and give yourself a lot of love. It's very important. Um, uh, yes, those are one of the things that, uh, there, there's so many things that are blocking us also from being in abundance, but I just want to make this um, brief and short, right? So another thing, so I want to give you ways for you to start practicing self-love and start opening and say yes to the universe and receive all the abundance that you need, right? So one, at first could be uh, be kind, loving towards yourself and helpful to yourself. So it starts telling yourself loving and kind words. So rather than when you find yourself or caught yourself saying I'm useless or I'm rubbish at, why don't you change it and say, well, actually, I will learn more about this. Therefore, I will learn, I will uh, practice and, and get better on computers or on writing or on, on volleyball or baseball, whatever, you know, if you find yourself saying that um, you are rubbish or, uh, or, or, or um, uh, not good at. Uh, another thing is that, uh, uh, love and praise uh, your body. Um, accept yourself for the way you are and how you look like. We criticize ourselves a lot about our body, our uh, image and everything else. But um, we don't realize these things, that we're not accepting ourselves. So very important that you accept yourself the way you are, the way you look, the way you, you walk, the way you speak, uh, regardless what other people say. Um, Remember that it's a projector of the self, it's a projection of them, whatever they criticize and tell you. So that's not you, that's not longer you. So you want to change this. So say how kind and loving you are. And say to yourself how beautiful you are, how much you love yourself. And do that as Louise Hay taught us through her books, through her uh, journeys and, and, and journey and videos is go in front of a mirror and say to yourself, I love you and I approve of you and I, I, I like the way you are and you did very well today, well done, you know, just do all of these things. Uh, another thing is have fun, have more fun, go out there with your friends or make a day with yourself. Um, Yes, yeah, this is go to the cinema. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't mean that we don't want to go to the cinema on our own because we feel, oh, that's not right, you know, it's not on, oh, it's boring. But how about if you start to get comfortable with your own company, get comfortable with your your um, self, get comfortable with being on your own, your own thoughts and your own um, self, um, that's a good way for you to start practicing and accepting yourself and loving yourself. Um, and again, have fun. Uh, you also, if you have friends, make a date with your friends. Uh, go and to the park and have a picnic. There's so many ways that we can have fun. Or oh, start doing the things that you love. If you like painting, do painting. Be creative. You know, do. Um, if you like photograph, go out and start taking photos. Um, uh, do um, play sports or something that you like and at the same time if you play sport you are 
praising your body, you are working out, you're doing something for yourself, something for your body, and you're telling your body how much you love it, right? And um, ah, another thing is get enough rest. It's very important that we get enough rest. Sometimes we uh, are so into maybe working a lot or doing, 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 and it's only when we feel extremely tired, it's only when we feel sick is when we take uh, rest. And that's not on, you know. You have to start listening to your body, be connected to your body, and have a good night's sleep, go to bed, um, I don't know, whatever time, but as long as you get the normal time, hours um, of sleep, could be eight, seven hours or eight hours, I think. But yes, get enough rest. Um, and then during the day, uh, some people criticize this, but some, a lot of culture actually, especially in Spain, uh, they take naps. But that is very good. Even if you take a 15 minutes nap, you will recover your energy. If you have the chance, if you have the time, you know, sometimes you're busy because you have children, you have to pick up from school or you have a job to do, you won't be able to do that. But during your lunch break, at least just take five minutes to meditate, to close your eyes and take a time for you. If you want to, you will be able to do that. And another thing is practice mindfulness. When I say practice mindfulness, you start doing meditations at least once a day, in the morning preferably, or at the end of the day. When you do it in the morning, just uh, say thank you for being alive, thank you for this new day, close your eyes and sit down and start to reflect and set up the day. How would you like your day um, to be? How, what outcomes, outcomes would you like to have during the day? The positive things that you would like to have, that would for sure will start changing your day dramatically. All the good things and even if something that you weren't expecting happened, you will, we, you will be able to move on from that very quickly because you already start a, a day with a good step meditating taking time from you and if you don't know how to meditate and if you don't know or you don't like it or you say oh i don't have time it's only five minutes to start with and then you extend it to 10 minutes if you want to slowly slowly but just close your eyes and start to listen what is around you maybe you heard the birds maybe you can hear the wings um again or, you know moving the trees or something that is part of being the mindfulness. If it's raining, you hear the rain. Enjoy. Take a deep breath. Smell the rain and smell the earth. That will also help you to relax and you start start to get in touch with yourself and with with uh, nature and be mindful. So um, this is um, what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you very much. My name is Teresita Lopez Pulido and I am an intuitive energy healer and a spiritual teacher. And thank you very much. For more details about how can you work with me, you can go to my website and it's www.divineaffinity.co.uk. Oh.